Hi everyone, so here we are with question 11 of the series Quant vs Errol. Once again a question from CAT 2021 slot 2. Two trains A and B were moving in opposite direction, their speeds being in the ratio 5 is to 3. The front end of A crossed the rear end of B 46 seconds after the front end of trains had crossed each other. It took another 69 seconds for the rear ends of the trains to cross each other. The ratio of length of train A to that of train B. So what I have done, I have uh, tried to make you visualize the problem because that make your job pretty easy. So just try to visualize it this way. These are the two trains. This is train A. This is train B. Let's say the length of train A is L1. Length of train B is L2. Question is asking us what is L1 is to L2. My point is, the question says, that the front end of A crossed the rear end of B 46 seconds after the front ends of the trains had crossed each other. So when the front ends of the two trains have crossed each other, that is the point which I am showing you on the screen. From this point, this train A takes 46 seconds to reach the rear end of B. So that means, just look at this picture now. So can I say this train is actually covering L2 meters in these 46 seconds? The train is covering L2 meters in 46 seconds, right? Similarly, from this point, it took another 69. Another means from this point now, it took another 69 seconds for the rear ends of the trains to cross each other. So from this point, when this train moves, just look at this picture again very closely. So can I say the train is covering its own length of L1 now? And this it is covering in 69 seconds. The important point is, in both the situations, the speed is same. And when the speed is same, ratio of speeds is, sorry, ratio of distances is equal to the ratio of time. Ratio of time is 69 is to 46. That is L1 is to L2. L2. So therefore, ratio of length would also be 69 is to 46. When I cancel out by 23, it gives me 3 is to 2 as the answer. So that's it. Option D is the correct answer for this question. Now, in this question, some of you might be thinking you did not use 5 is to 3 at all. This just tells you at what speed these two trains are moving towards each other. But whatever the situation is, that relative speed would always remain the same. And when the speed remains the same, I am just working upon the ratio of their time because that will give me the ratio of their length as well. So it was not important. Even if it was 50 is to 3, even if it was 5 is to 33, still in all those cases, my answer would have been 3 is to 2 and that's an aptitude way of solving. Mm -hmm.